Yeah, well, with the issue of homosexuality, I think we, we all acknowledge that as, as a Christian community, we made a number of mistakes over the years. We were very slow to, to really talk about this issue, certainly in a pastoral context. Um, slow to create a, a culture where where Christians could be open about their own experiences with this issue and slow to have a kind of a, a good pastoral response for them. Um, so I hope one of the things we can learn about learn from that when it comes to transgender type issues is again creating a culture where people are able to talk about these things safely and openly and be listened to really well um i think it we are it beholden as 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 god's people to 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 make every effort to understand all the different types of people that, that god has has placed around us and if someone is transgender actually we need to listen very carefully to uh, what that what that involves and means for them what life has been like for them what it feels like to be them and I think the more we listen the more careful and nuanced and helpful our responses can be um, we want to think through what the bible says about our body what the bible says about our gender identity we're also conscious as Christians that we know the world, including our bodies, have been subject to frustration. So we, of all people, should most understand the fact we don't have a straightforward relationship with our body and that there can be pain involved in that. So there's a certain amount of empathy and understanding we should have as Christians, which should make us the, the best people to, to listen in a way with understanding, but also to have something to, to say to help as well.